Just looking over it, I think what I'm going to do is work on the, the uh, leg part and get that done. I do have his wax copy of his face. You can see how much of a reduction that is um, from the original. Uh, but I've got the wax uh, copy of his face, and so I'm going to work from that. I'm using a silicone chip tool uh, from uh, SculptTools.com, and. Uh, this one is PSL2B firm. I find these tools very, very handy for uh, a number of reasons. Uh, for one of them is being that clay does not stick to them, so you can use them kind of like. extension of your finger with uh, different shapes. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, it does me. But what makes them really unique is the fact that clay does not stick to them. When you're working at this size, you're working with molecules of clay instead of big lumps of clay. And so you're putting little tiny pieces on at a time. tell you this test your eyesight <laughs> I'm going to use 
a little tool from Ken's Tools. These are really nice for detail work. It has kind of like a guitar string that's been bent over. You know, it's got a little uh, how the guitar uh, strings are wrapped and kind of like, well, it's, it's, it's like a spring. It looks like anyway. I don't know how they make their wires, but uh, they're really handy for this size of work. And it's handy for putting textures into clays as well. Um, a lot of people in the uh, movie business use Ken's tools for creating skin-like uh, textures and stuff like that and detail work and uh, I don't use them much but uh, when I do it's I just really enjoy how nicely built and made these tools are. People are always asking me what kind of tools do I use and, and I pretty much show you right here. Now this is a, a tool that I got from SculptureDepot.net. Uh, it's a glyptic tool. You can interchange uh, different uh, loops, and then they have a Allen wrench or Allen screw here that you tighten and loosen, and then you can take out the uh, head and then put in a different one, and. Uh, you keep the same handle and just keep ordering different uh, heads or loops to go on them, and it's just a really handy tool. All right, just a pause for the cause, so to speak. Um, this video is brought to you by me. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my uh, seven DVDs that I have available. Uh, this one's on creating a male bust in clay. Uh, this one is a, a supplemental video called uh, Clay to Bronze. It's a tour of the uh, foundry. And, uh, but anyway, I've got uh, sweet grass, I've got uh, a life-size bust, I've got a full-size figure of a mountain man and an Indian woman holding a baby. These are the seven that I have. Um, there'll probably be more in the near future. I'm going to be doing one on a horse. But uh, here I'm going to take a break and show you how to purchase these uh, DVDs online. Let's see if I can get it on there. A Day in the Life of a Lemon block dot blogspot dot com. That's my website. And uh, when you get there, this is the, the home page. And you'll see up here at the top right hand column, look at my finger. There's here. a buy now t uh, tab right there. And what you do is you just click on this uh, little drop down menu and you get all six of my. DVDs uh, Mount here, Mount. and then right at the bottom is this Clay of Bronze, which is the uh, Founder Tour. And as you can see, it's uh, not as expensive as the ones above. If you don't understand anything on this page, here's a uh, language uh, thing here. Uh, you just drop this uh, menu down, and you can select any language uh, that you speak. We'll get back to the. Uh... Uh, sculpture that I'm working on in progress. I, I think out of all the tools, this is probably one of my favorites, is uh, the glyptic, because they just last forever. Okay, let's get those eyes open. <clears throat> Just gentle, little to jabs, no big movements. And as you can 
can see I use all kinds of tools for different purposes. It's nice to have a good choice of tools. Each uh, artist eventually works out the tools that they like the best and that's what they tend to go with and uh, it's what you're comfortable using <laughs> 